Okay, so there you are. Mexican cow, horse, no bridle flag. Things have got very weird, okay? This is where we start. He is angry, you see. He's angry. All right? <laughs> In all seriousness, um, I'm going to work this little colt. Uh, and we're just going to kind of see what's here. I have some different things in here I'd like to do. But the first thing is I'm just going to introduce the cow to him and see how he hooks to the cow, um, things I may need to do. And then once he hooks to the cow, we'll uh, probably kick him out of here. We'll check out what there is to check out. And um, then I might hook him to the outside of the pen. And all along the while, I'm going to play with my flag. And um, he's good about it. There's some spots where I can feel him getting tight. And I'm going to work through those and just kind of see what's there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. And what I might do is, because I have my flag, something that I like to do with my horses to get them real confident about the flag out of both eyes and things is like, right now I'm going to start on my horse with my right leg and um, I'm going to ask him to move his hindquarters over. And when I do that, I'll have my, I don't obviously don't have any reins. So if he wants to walk off, he'll walk off, but I have my flag to help. And uh, people said they wanted to see more about me using my feet. So here you go. This is for you. So I'm going to put my right leg on, right? My horse is walking towards the cow. I, that's what I want. But um, right now I'd like to work it there. I, I'd like to get that hind foot to get off. Like, see right there when I squeeze, when I squeeze there, now I'm bumping. Now I'm bumping. He's moving, but he hasn't moved off of it yet. So I'm not, I'm not going to kick any harder. Right there he moved off of it. Once he moves off of that, then I can come in here. I'll put my left leg forward and just kind of bump my left leg. And then I'll help him with my flag where I need be when I feel that foot kind of come. See, he's too far ahead right now. Too far ahead. Too far ahead. Right there, I like better. Now we'll do this other side here. I'll just put my left leg on. I'll kind of put some energy in it. Now I'll start to bump with a little. I'm looking for that left hind leg to reach. There, it got out of the way. Right leg forward. And I'm exaggerating this so you can see it. Right leg forward. Oh, he went off my foot. That's good. Now maybe a little, a little flag. I need there. I need him to reach back. Good. Okay. Now that I'm away from my cow, I'm gonna put my legs on him until he finds the cow. Oh heck! What are we gonna do? He found the cow awful fast. So let's see what the little horse knows. Right now, he's giving good space. There he got a little distracted by this tarp. This tarp may scare him over here. Right now, what I'm looking for is, will he rate to the cow? Right now, I'm not pushing him. I'm simply just riding him, right? And right now, he's showing me he will rate to the cow. That is something I need because later when I go to rope, I need to be able to, oh, you want a hook, huh, do you, little buddy? He thought about getting us. Um, I need to be able to rope and have my horse rate not run by um, and I'll need him to run by too to fence and do things like that do you really want beef with us I don't think you do so all this I really like about this young horse he's kind of like telling this cow come on dude if you if you want some come get some um, but th those are things I'm looking for when the cow leaves will he track the cow if the cow goes left will he go left or do I need to make him go left? For me, the, the very beginning is just getting him hooked to the cow. Then I'll get some more control. Once I have that, as soon as I put energy in you, you go find the cow. If you find the cow, we can help you with the different things, right? So that's what we're looking for. So here I'm just going to ride him off in no general direction. There goes my cow. Let's see. Where goes my horse? Maybe I'll use my flag, see if I can't move my cow a little bit with that. My horse is locked on pretty darn good. He's not wanting to run by. Right here, we're in the perfect position to head him. See, there's my rate. Now maybe I'll use my flag, see if I can't get my cow to go. I might have to get a new cow. This is a uh, cow that we've been trying to gentle down and he is getting more gentle. Hey, get out of here. 
I don't want your beef. Okay, horse comes across there good. Let's see, if cow switches directions. Does the horse switch directions? Right there you can see, oh, he don't like the magic finger. He got a little uh, unsettled by the tarp. Here, let's see if I can ride him by. Well, that might not set itself up too good there. Good, I like he's staying hooked to the cow. He's getting more confident about this. Now, here's my chance. Let's see. Good. I like he's not trying to run over the cow. See, as soon as I ease up, he eases up. I give him some energy and he goes right to that cow. I would like to, so there, I facilitated it. Get out of here, cow. Um, the cow kind of turned and pushed into us. My horse didn't make it, right? So I'm going to put my feet on him. That's really funny because he did, he did the right thing anyways. But I want, if my horse misses the cow, I'll let him miss the cow. And uh, later on, I'll train on him. I'll teach him turns and different things like that. But right now, if he misses the cow, I would like him to come through and find the cow again. Right? So let's see if this situation will set itself up again here. And all, all the while, I've got my flag, you know, I can touch my horse with it. I'm getting him more gentle and I'm seeing where his game is. Like what kind of control does he have? Does he track this cow good?